Hello everyone. I'm sh filming this on Thanksgiving, so I just want to say that I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving with all of their family and friends. Um, everyone turns in for the night and I'm up alone, so I figured I would film. Um, and today I'm going to film my first haul. It's a mini haul and I got everything from Ulta. Actually, no, I got most things from Ulta and a few things from Charlotte Ruth. So I'm just going to show you what I got and share my thoughts. So let's start off with the Ulta hoodies. Uh, hoodies? Let's start off with the Ulta goodies. So the first thing I got from Ulta was this um, NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All collection. Um, it has... Some really pretty stuff in there so I'm just gonna open it up and show you what it looks like when you open it up it's just um, a really cute little black plastic um, case or packaging with pink letters and then when you open it up there's a really nice big mirror here there's 12 shadows um, some matte and some shimmer and when you pop it all the way open in the bottom, there's some blushes and some really pretty highlighters, like so pigmented and so creamy. Like this is actually my first time swatching it, touching it. I never touched it in the store. I just fell in love with the colors. These are so pigmented, it's crazy. So here's a closer look at the shadows and the blushes and illuminator and this palette cost me uh, $24.99 at Ulta the next thing that I got was the real techniques um, setting brush I have seen this in so many different tutorials from so many amazing artists and they swear by this uh, brush for highlighting or setting the under eye area or some even use it for contouring the cheekbones. So I'm really excited to test this product out. And this is also my first Real Techniques brush. So I'm interested to see how I feel about that. And this cost me $7.99. The third product that I got from Ulta were these, uh, was this Velvet Touch Eye Brush Set by Japanesque. Um, it comes with four brushes. This cost um, $25, I believe. And I got a crease blending brush, a cut crease brush, um, a smudger brush, and an angled brush. I've never tried any Japanese products, so I'm really excited to try these brushes out. I don't have many looks at um, brushes, if you've noticed from uh, my tutorials. So I'm really just excited to build up my collection and test out new products and see what I think about each of the brushes. Next, I got the NYX Matte Finish um, Finishing Spray. It's a setting spray. I have oily skin, uh, oily to dry skin, but my T-zone is extremely oily, so I'm looking for something that'll help kind of control the shine, control the oil throughout the day. So I'm really, really excited to try this out because I love every product that I've ever tried from NYX and I love how affordable they are. Um, this setting spray cost me $5.99 and it comes with 2.03 fluid ounces. So I think that's a pretty good size. Regardless, the price is amazing. So we'll see how it works. I got three um, lip colors, um, all from NYX because, you know, I just love NYX products. Um, two of these are a matte finish, the soft matte lip creams, these two right here. And then this first one is an intense butter gloss. I actually didn't realize that it was a gloss until I got home. Um, I'm more of a matte girl, but this color is absolutely beautiful, so I'm still willing to give it a try. This red right here, this brighter red, is called um, Apple Crisp. Then I got this color right here. This is a matte lip cream, and this is in the color Prague. I hope I'm saying that right. Please excuse my nails, everyone. <laughs> and then the last color that I got is kind of like a deeper red. This is also a soft matte lip cream, and this is in the color Monte Carlo. I got all three of these for $5.99 a piece. 
The last product that I got from Ulta um, isn't a new product or something that I've never tried. This is actually a holy grail product for me and I ran out. So this was the whole reason why I went to Ulta. And then like $100 later, I, I don't really know what happened. But this right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have mine in the shade Ebony. I alternate between the shade Ebony, Ebony and Dark Brown, I believe. But Ebony is what I prefer. So this is probably the most expensive um, product in my collection. <laughs> um, it, this cost me $21, but like I said... It's a holy grail product for me, and I'm not really willing to try anything else right now. The next two products that I got are from Charlotte Russe. One of them is a nail polish by China Glaze in the shade Fifth Avenue, and I just love this color. It's like a dusty rose kind of color. Oh, I can't wait to paint my nails this color. I'm actually going to do it next because... Clearly, my nails are a little bit crazy. So, when I do uh, paint my nails, I will post uh, pictures on my Instagram so you guys can see, um, like a swatch, what it looks like outside the bottle. You can feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, it is at Beauty by Chuchi, C H U C H I. So, I'm really excited to see what this color looks like. China Glaze has some really good products. Say, I forgot to say the price of the nail polish. That was $6.99 at um, Charlotte Russe. The last thing that I got was a new mascara because I'm running out of my two holy grails, which would be uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Volume Express by Maybelline. And I wanted to try something new. This is called Lush Lashes Mascara. It's by NYX. It's the Badunka Dunk mascara and I want to show you the brush because I'm absolutely in love with this brush. It is a big brush. I love big brushes. It's like one of those rubbery kinds of brushes. Let me back up. I just feel like this is going to work wonders on my lashes and this is um, supposed to be a, a volume and length mascara. So. We'll put that to the test because my lashes are like, in my opinion, pretty inv <laughs> invisible without mascara. So I'm excited to see how um, this works on my natural lashes. So that's the end of my mini haul. Um, I forgot to say the price of that mascara. That mascara cost me $7 at Charlotte Russe, but you can get that at Ulta as well. And they might even have it at like Target's because I know Target's have... Um, NYX stands, which is where I used to get my NYX products. A lot of CVS's also have them as well. We'll be doing um, first impressions slash reviews on all of the new products that I um, picked up. And I'm going to actually try to use them all in one video. So um, let's shoot for having that um, filmed, getting that filmed by the end of the week. So thank you so much for staying tuned. I'm sorry about the bad lighting, the shadows, my hair, my nails, my pajamas, everything. But like I said, this I just filmed spur of the moment after everyone left from Thanksgiving dinner. I'm in my room, in my bed, in my pajamas, just ready to relax. But I did want to film this video because I don't really buy makeup very often or anything for myself very often and I was really excited about the products that I uh, purchased. That's my son in the background if you wonder what's moving um, behind me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, um, share, give me any comments, any feedback. If you've tried any of the products that I've purchased and you love them or hate them, feel free to let me and everyone else know in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions on any products that I should try, both drugstore and high-end, please let me know so I can start getting together a little wish list for the next time I hit the the place I should never go, Ulta. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go in there and purchase um, a Brow Wiz. Like I said, $100 later. Anywho, 
Thank you again. Um, and once again, I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving with your families.